Welcome back to my channel. I am just getting ready. <laughs> I didn't put a lot of makeup on. I never put makeup on. Like, I'm not a makeup person ever since I was young. Never, ever wore makeup. I just found it to be too, like, cakey. And now that I need it, <laughs> I still don't like it. So, anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'm digressing all the time. I have to go to the supermarket. I'm going to be making a special dish tonight. It is called birria. It's a Mexican dish. I've never done it before. I've always eaten it in Mexican restaurants and I love it. So I have some of the things here that I picked up yesterday, like guajillo chile, ancho chile. I didn't buy the chile that's very, very hot because Peter does not like really hot things. He only likes me. I'm hot, right? <laughs> So I've got tomatoes. There's a fruit store near where I work. And so I pick this stuff up there because it's less expensive than getting it at the supermarket. So I'm going to the supermarket to pick up, you know, just weekly groceries. Pete's working today, so I'm going to do that. And then what else am I gonna do today? Not doing much of anything. I'm gonna get started on this video that you're watching right now. Uh, because I still have to edit and do all that stuff. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to get going. Max is having a heart attack because he hates... Look at him. Poor soul. You poor baby. You sad because mama's going? Huh? Are you sad because mama's going to the store? I'll be back. He gets upset whenever I go somewhere. He does. He just can't stand it. He really... I don't know. He's got issues. You know what I mean? very quick haul. This is a ShopRite haul. Everything you see here cost $202.46. <sighs> what is this world coming to? Bowl and basket quick oats for overnight oats. Bowl and basket is a very good brand. I not only buy their, um, their quick oats, but I also buy their Colombian coffee for the Keurig not for mine espresso. I bought first time bowl and basket sweet onion ground beef burgers made with real sweet onions. This is good for when I stay over my daughter's and Pete wants to make himself something quick. He can have these burgers. Bananas, a bag of Doritos because why not? I take a sandwich sometimes to work, and when I do, I take a little baggie, and I put a few of them in there just to have a little crunch with my sandwich. Peeled garlic. Holy guacamole. When I just want something quick, and I don't want to peel an avocado and have, you know, the rest of it getting all brown and whatnot, I'll use a cup of this. They come in like little separate containers, and it's really yummy, really delicious. I'm gonna try these. I see some of my favorite people on YouTube buying these Starkist tuna creations. I bought the hot buffalo because I love spicy things and also the sweet and spicy. We'll see. I'll try anything once. They're only 90 calories and they have 16 grams of protein. Canilla rice from Goya, long grain. Only kind of rice I buy is long grain. Doesn't matter what brand it is. Honestly, it's whichever one is the cheapest, but it has to be long grain. That's just the thing. A pack of these light and fit yogurts. I love these, uh, the vanilla especially. Bowl and basket vanilla and chocolate ice cream cups. These are Peter's favorite. Did I say that when you buy bowl and basket, it's just cheaper. If you want to save a little bit of your coin. Um, Maxi's. 
cat food. I like to get him the senior at times, but Fancy Feast is his favorite. I just started getting him the Priorina one to try and incorporate it. It's grain free. We'll see. I mean, it's working so far. He likes it. He likes anything. He's like Garfield. Ground ginger for tonight's dinner. Tomato sauce for tomorrow's dinner. I'm making pork chops, rice, and beans. Peter's favorite, so I needed that. I love to get this fresh mozzarella, and it's already sliced. See the slices? They're great. Parmesan cheese. I also got the shredded Parmesan, because I like to put this when I make pasta. I like to put it in my sauce. Diced tomatoes for the dinner tonight. A green pepper, some avocados. And is this an English cucumber? Yeah, that's what it is, I think. A potato for tomorrow night's dinner. An onion for the sofrito that I'm going to make tomorrow. And he, what is this, an orange pepper? Yeah, that's for tomorrow as well. Maxie loves these little snacks, uh, these bursts. I got him the chicken and the fish. I mean, he, he just, he eats too many snacks. That's why he is heavy like his mama. Okay, doesn't matter. I got the shoestring potato and the sweet potato fries, both from Bowl and Basket. Hellman's mayo. Is it really mayo if it's not Hellman's? I don't know. Beef stock for tonight's birria and a big can of small red beans for tomorrow. I, I make them from the can. They come out delicious. Bowl and basket milk, the 2% kind. Two pork chops for Peter for tomorrow. I'm gonna have leftover birria for tomorrow. I don't want that. Chuck roast for tonight's birria. My hands get very, very tired uh, when I'm opening cans. And this was on sale at ShopRite for $9.99. It's Proctor Silex. I'm gonna try it. I'll give anything a, a try, you know, for $10. I mean, you know, if it doesn't work, I have my receipt, I'll return it. And that's it. That is it. I'm a liar. I'm such a liar. I bought uh, these little eight ounce bottles of Poland Spring. I like to take these to work. Um, it's hard for me to drink water sometimes. These go down really easy. A zero sugar Snapple. I love to drink this. This is my favorite drink right now. I don't drink soda anymore. And Peter loves the sparkling Poland Spring. I got him a lemon and also a ruby red grapefruit. Okay, so I have everything lined up here. The only thing I don't have out yet is my Instant Pot. This is an Instant Pot recipe. What I do when I'm making something, I keep hitting this. I'm not like making weird noises with my body. My buttocks is hitting the island. What I do when I'm making a brand new recipe, something I've never made before, is I kind of go over the recipe a few times just to make sure that I measure out what I need to measure out first. Like if I have to chop an onion, I do it beforehand and put it in a bowl, all those things, because last minute, I don't wanna be like rushing to cut an onion and cut one of my digits off. That's all I need. <laughs> it calls for a pinch of ground cloves. I don't like cloves. I'm not putting it in my birria, so that's out of the question. I think that's about the only thing that I'm not putting in here. Oh, the other thing are the chiles de arbol. Chiles de arbol are very, very spicy, very caliente. <laughs> I'm just gonna not put that in at all. So like I said, I like to prep things before starting. So I'm just gonna dice an onion and put it in a bowl and set it to the side. The recipe also calls for six cloves of garlic minced. I love buying them already peeled in these bags. It just makes life so much easier. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice the stems off the chiles and then remove and discard the seeds inside. I actually think the seeds probably make them spicier. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if that's what the seeds do, if that's why you're supposed to remove them. I mean, I'm sure they're not pleasant to chew on, but let me know if you know why the seeds are removed from the chile. Like I said before, I am using only two of the chiles on the recipe list. The ancho chili, which is very mild and smoky, and the guajillo chili, which is sweet and smoky and not very spicy. 
Now I'm just going to cut the chuck rose roughly into like three inch chunks. I think three inches is just about the right size. You're going to have to shred this meat afterwards and leaving, you know, huge pieces of meat in there is going to make it more difficult. Once that's all done, you're going to season your meat whichever way you see fit. I put a little salt and pepper. Then you're going to press saute on your instant pot. You'll add the chiles and then you'll cook them until they're fragrant and lightly toasted, about three to four minutes. Honey, how does this work? In here like that, I'm gonna sleep. Oh, I tried that. <laughs> well, you have to put it in a certain way. Oh, so then you're gonna be the one that's gonna open these cans from now on. But what do I do if you're not home? Hey, wait. <laughs> Patient. <laughs> don't want to catch Peter because he's in his undies. Undies with the brown stain. <laughs> You're a weirdo. I'm just waiting for these to toast up and then we're going to go ahead and put them in the blender. Now in the meantime, while your Instant Pot is still hot, you're going to add the olive oil and saute the onion until it's soft, about four to five minutes. Then you're going to add your garlic and tomatoes and saute that for three more minutes. Once that's done, you're going to shut your Instant Pot off, no brainer, and then you're going to transfer everything into the blender. At that point, you're going to add the rest of your ingredients. I'm gonna leave the recipe below. You're gonna add your apple cider vinegar, your cumin, oregano, ginger, cloves, and cinnamon if you wanna add that, and then two cups of beef stock. Blend everything for about a minute or until it's completely smooth. At this point, you're going to combine your cubed beef, the blended marinade, two cups of the beef stock in your Instant Pot, give it a quick stir, cover, and cook on manual for 45 minutes, followed by a quick release. Once the timer goes off, you're going to carefully remove the meat from all of that sauce, and then you're going to begin to shred it. Then you put it back in the sauce, and just let it simmer there until you're ready to serve. Pile your shredded beef onto a warm tortilla, top with pico de gallo, which there's also a recipe for, and enjoy. It was delicious. We had some avocado slices, put a little bit of the sauce on the side. Exquisite. Hello, my darlings. So it is Saturday, probably a week after I filmed that last piece. Saturdays, I usually try to clean and film and catch up. I work nine to five, so this is all, it's a lot, but I love YouTube so much and I love filming and all of this. So maybe, you know, one day when I retire, I'll be able to, you know, just do this full time. And then I won't have to worry about going to a job that I hate. <laughs> anyway, so today what I'm gonna do is I am going to clean my room a bit change my sheets, you know, just do the regular weekly stuff. And then I want to show you these beautiful LED sconces that I was sent by Shineland. I think that's the way you pronounce it. I'm sorry, Shineland, if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But they sent me these sconces to try out. I do have some lamps that I bought at a flea market. I bought both of these lamps. Let me just bring one over. These are beautiful and I want to actually DIY them and make them like a different color. These shades I actually bought um, somewhere else, but these lamps I bought at a flea market, two of them for $5. And so I had them on my nightstands, but you know, my nightstands are so small. I don't have any room for a lamp. So Shineland sent me these sconces to review and I was like, this is perfect. I don't like to make holes in the wall because I'm fickle, I change my mind a lot. So these are perfect. So once I clean up my room, I will then put these sconces on the wall and show you how beautiful they are. They really are so, who is texting me in the middle of me doing a video? Yeah, so I'm going to clean my room and then 
uh, once I do that, I'm going to show you the sconces. Okay? All right. Let's get to it. <laughs> So now my room is nice and clean. As you can see, these night tables are really small. So I don't know. I'm thinking of buying some bigger ones, some wider ones. This room is very small. It's not a very big room. I am going to be leaving a lamp here because sometimes I will want, you know, some light over on my dresser, which I DIY'd this dresser or I made it over. It was an upgrade. This thing was uh, $20 from a flea market. Peter sanded it and I stained it. And we love it for now. We needed a dresser and 20 bucks is an amazing price. I love it for now. It's fantastic. I'll have a video on that coming up soon. So, yeah, let's get to the sconces. I'm going to put one here and one over there. Right off the bat and out of the gate I am very impressed with the way these came packaged it has everything you're going to need you get both of your LED lights you get two chargers the cords because these are rechargeable and you get four of these hangers the lampshades are beautiful they look like linen and then, of course, you get the holder to hang, you know, on your wall. All right, this is super, super easy. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your lampshade. There's like a little line here to kind of guide you. You're going to put the, the metal, I don't know what you would call this, the holder on there and kind of line up the hole with the hole in the back of the shade. And then you just start snapping. There are like little snap things. And then you just start rolling this, super easy. Snap it in there. And you just keep rolling and snapping. Rolling and snapping until you get to the end. This has a Velcro strip and you're going to just Velcro this together so that it's nice and tight. These lampshades are beautiful. Once you're done charging your light, see the magnetic strip it has there? That's gonna go right in here. And let me tell you, super strong it's not going to fall anywhere and then the last part these little um square i don't know what you would call these but put them in there like this and pick them up that tightens it and holds it in place put them in there peel the paper off figure out where we want it on the wall we're going to take this off and we're going to make sure they stick well. Oh, 
obsessed, obsessed with these lights. I don't know how to work them completely yet. I have to look at the remote, but look, different colors, even brighter if you want that daylight look, or if you'd like, you know, a more cozy look in the room. I am in love with them. And for the price, you really can't beat it. You know, if you want to <laughs> have a little sexy time, you can change the colors. These lights are such a vibe. Is that what the kids are saying today? <laughs> they really are, though. They're beautiful. And if you happen to rent, they are completely renter friendly. You don't have to make any holes in your wall. So they are just perfect. Thank you so much to Shineland for sending me these gorgeous, gorgeous sconces to review and to share with all of my subscribers. I really appreciate it and I love your product. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. I love you and please remember, thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe if you're just hanging out here and this is your first time. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.